Ladies and gentlemen, it's fucking hot in here, folks. I mean, humid. I mean, the air is so thick, folks. It's thick there. Feeling like shit. I'm depressed. I'm sad, folks. Sad. And then I read some of that wrestling news. Read that AEW got under a million viewers, folks, and suddenly I was overcome with joy, folks. Negative news about AEW. Oh, God dang. God dang. And then I felt like a new man, folks. I mean. So there's some discrepancies there. Brian Alvarez saying 989,000 viewers. Other people are reporting 979,000 or whatever. So back under a million, baby. Whatever the numbers are there. Back under a million. That's for a fact this week, folks, now. I was reading some of these comments on the Brian Alvarez tweet there. Not only was I happy, but then I felt laughter, folks. The excuse this week, apparently there was a show called The Challenge playing on MTV or whatever. Um, oh, yeah, guys, The Challenge. Oh, my God, a big drop-off. What happened? Oh, it's the challenge. Oh, challenge? Okay. Okay. Um, apparently, this challenge show got 400,000 something. It's not that big there. Like, you know, the excuse is a little better when you have a big playoff game or the presidential address, whatever excuse they take, these fucking goofs there, but... They'll take any excuse they can, but now it's fucking pathetic. The challenge, a show that nobody watched, for God's sake. Let me tell you why you got under a million again there. It's because it was a challenge to watch this fucking show. Way too boring. You know what I mean? Chris Jericho versus Wardlow. Who the fuck cares? Danny Garcia against Darby Allen. Fuck off, you know what I mean? They seem to get very cocky sometimes if they're like in between shows. They have a couple of big matches like Kenny against Christian. I mean, this is so big. So then they get cocky in between these fake main events. They're just going to throw out garbage. It's like they have lazy shows where nothing really happens. And then they even use this as an excuse. The fans, they get on their high horse. Oh, well, there was nothing on the show this week. I mean, it's like, well, like, shouldn't it be good every week if they're supposed to be that fucking good? Shouldn't there it be good every week? Shouldn't they put effort in this shit every week? Let's not forget their gold dust versus this big goof with a beard and a strap match. They end up with 400,000. That's what happens when you get too fucking cocky. You know what I mean? CM Punk and Brian, they're going to save them for a little bit, folks. And then it's going to go back down under a million, folks. I mean, shit. The challenge, folks. <laughs> Come on. Until next time, peace.